Today I will show you how we can recover overexposed image in Iridium Developer. This image I've got when I forgot to switch uh, in the viewfinder the settings from my studio uh, work to work outdoor and uh, I cannot see preview of uh, of the picture according to the settings of aperture and shutter speed. So this image is not totally destroyed and uh, I think that sometimes you get overexposed image but this image is uh, very interesting and you may want to try to recover it. So I will show you how I am doing this recovery in Iridium. First of all, the image is overexposed. That's why we lower our exposure. Then I can also lower a little bit fill light. And you may think that to recover these overexposed areas, you can slide extreme highlight recovery to the right. But forget, this will totally kill your image. What we need to do is to move this slider and not too much. Approximately till 30, 40, something like that. Then I go to color and uh, as this image was taken in the evening, I also want to make this image a little bit cooler. That's why I change it manually. The color temperature to 3400 and shift tint in green area. So now we have almost normal skin color. I will add a little bit warm tone in middle mid tones and just a little also yellow in these overexposed areas. Go back to detail panel, shut down all of that and go back to exposure panel. This image looks much better. Let's try to enhance it. Well, by sliding highlights to minus 100, minus 90, it doesn't matter so much. We also reduce overexposed areas. And just a little bit add brightness of mid tones and add some contrast. Of course, you may use curves, but I prefer to work with curves in Photoshop. Let's leave it like that. And of course, you may use lightness curve and also a little bit reduce the overall lightness. But now you have an example of uh, how we can recover spoiled, damaged image in Iridium. With people, working with people, we need to concentrate on uh, normal human skin color. With 
still objects, it's much easier. So if I copy these settings and paste them to image without a person, we can get much better result. But of course, this image needs to be processed in Photoshop because we still have a lot of uh, problem areas. Well, now let's make paste. You see? We can change a little bit temperature to make it not so bluish well I wish you good luck and not to overexpose your images bye